in Quran, uh, God sometimes referred to him as a plural sense, yeah. like us or we. Why mm -hmm. is that? Uh, let's understand it more comprehensively. There are, in, in Arabic, uh, pronouns can be singular, dual, or plural. And pronouns, of course, are also third person, second person, and first person, right? So what are all the pronouns used for God in the Quran? There's he, which is singular, of course. There's the word you, but in Arabic, you can be plural also. Right, so there's anta, which is singular, but there's antum, which is plural. So the singular you is used, the singular he is used, I is used, which is obviously singular. So the only plural pronoun used is we. First of all, we say this is not a literal pr plural, and why not? Because if that was literally plural, we wouldn't just find the word he, we would also find they. We wouldn't just find you, we would find all of you. Right? We would find mm -hmm. the plural versions of those pronouns also. But the plural doesn't occur in third person, doesn't occur in second person, only occurs in first person. And even in first person, it is inconsistent. You find I and you find we. So first, for the first thing to note, it's not a literal or consistent plural, number one. Number two, language should not be reduced to logic. In other words, the way you study mathematics or science is in very precise terms, but language isn't like that. Language is organic and fluid, and words are used to communicate different kinds of meanings. Uh, just because you know a word, you don't necessarily know how it is being used. Mm. I'll give you a simple example. You know what the word cool or hot means. But if some kids come out of a basketball game and say, that was so hot, that was hot. The way they use that word is not literal. They don't mean the temperature was very high inside the basketball gymnasium. What they mean was they enjoyed themselves. That was a great game. In other words, you cannot reduce uh, uh, language or the use even of a word to its literal meaning. Mm. Now, when we come to this idea of the word we, the question really is, how is it used in the Qur'an? Predominantly, it is used to, to depict uh, God's royalty. And this is true of ancient languages. A king would speak, and if he's declaring something formal, he wouldn't say, I have declared, he would say, thus, we have declared. So there, it's associated with royalty. But in the Qur'an, there are, it's a little more subtle and beautiful than that. You find... You know, one of the manifestations of uh, God's royalty is water. We find in the Quran that God's throne, arshuhu al ma, it's on water. And it's really interesting that in the Quran, consistently when he talks about sending water down or talks about water itself, he refers to himself when talking about water in the we. In other words, he refers to his throne associated with water and he uses the royal terminology we pretty much consistently whenever he talks about water. That's just one example. When he talks about providing, when he talks about uh, you know, his kingdom over things, his creative power, you'll find the word we. But then the question is then when do you find the word I? So you can put this in perspective. Two more points. So one, when do you use I? The word I is found in the Quran in cases of extreme anger or cases of extreme mercy. So that's an interesting nuance between the we and the I. And finally, What's really, to me, what's really remarkable is whenever you find the word we in the Quran for God, right before or right after you will find a singular word for him, like the word Rabb, which means master, or the word Ilah, which means the one to be worshipped and obeyed, Ilahun Wahid, Allah, you will find one of these singular words used explicitly right before or right after, so the reader is never left to even imagine, is this talking about more than one? Right in the, the, the same proximity, a singular word for God will be used. To, to, to let the reader know this is not literal, this is to express another meaning. Or this is to express the royalty of Allah or, or to express majesty and things like that.